Okay, now then, in my opinion, this is the big daddy theme of the whole lot. This is social responsibility. This is why Priestley wrote this play. So let's have a look at what we might say in this say about that. So just as normal, all the points for you are really high grade here. And I've color coded all the points so you can see where it hits the mark scheme. So, how does Precy present the importance of social responsibility? Well, Precy is using the inspector here to reflect and represent his own values, his own points of view. He shows how social responsibility is fundamental to the survival of humanity, and we need to start taking care of our society if we're going to survive. However, there is an ignorant rejection of these values from the older generation and the higher classes who do not feel they need to be socially responsible at all. So in my essay, I'll be starting with exactly that point, that they, the Berlians reject this socialism, reject social responsibility. They consider it as chaotic and dangerous. And the quote I've got for that is like bees in a hive. Then I'll be looking at how the, the old generation, the upper classes, they, they do have a semblance of social responsibility, but it's only to their own class and only to their family. Their definition of social responsibility does not match Priestley's definition of social responsibility. And I've got a quote here from Mrs. Berlin and Mr. Berlin here, which I could use to support that point of view. I then go back to the inspector and look at how the inspector outlines this social responsibility is incumbent on us all. Therefore, it's up to all of us and there's no escape from it. And we and our social responsibility is not just about giving money, not just about giving charity and support, but it's also about empathy. It's also about love as well. Finally, I'll be showing the threat if we don't start taking the social responsibility seriously, we're all going to suffer and we'll all struggle as a result. Now, the first thing I'll be doing here is I'll be referring to the lighting. For when the inspector walks in, it becomes brighter and harder. Now, these brighter and harder lights are acutely reliant on the, the message about social responsibility. So the brighter and harder lights for the inspector's message reflect how he's shining a light on their social responsibility. It also takes on the feel of an interrogation, showing how it's uncomfortable for the Berlians embracing their social responsibility. They don't want to accept that they need to be socially responsible. But also, as in all aspects of literature, light is always a symbol for guidance and hope. So no matter how difficult and hard it is to embrace your social responsibility, if we do, and we do take our social responsibility seriously, there is a hope for our world, and it can provide a guidance for us to be better human beings as we go through our life. Now, the first quote I'll be using is like bees in a hive. And this shows Mr. Berlin's uh, rejection of this social responsibility. He considers it chaotic and dangerous. He thinks the world should ha keep its separations and its divisions through the class structure. And if we didn't have that, it would just be chaotic bedlam. Now, this reflects the capitalist politics and thinking of the 1912 middle classes. Uh, the, the government at the time was, was very conservative, they were entrenched in capitalist views and there was a just limited appetite to embrace these socialist values that in 1946 were becoming much more commonplace. Now he refers to bees in his simile here. Now bees sting, just like the way the workers are going to hurt the upper classes if you do not take social responsibility for them. And we see that through Eva, Eva that even in death she's able to reputationally destroy the Berlins. Now, this is actually a very clever quote because on the face of it, it looks like Mr. Berlin is just is just slagging off the, the lower classes, but he's not here. Priestley is actually paying the workers a massive compliment and he's showing Mr. Berlin's ignorance and foolishness at the same time. Because whilst Mr. Berlin uses a criticism, bees are vital to human survival. We, if we had no bees, the humans wouldn't survive, we wouldn't exist. So this is just like how the Berlins depend on the working classes for their survival. It should be incumbent on them, therefore, to be socially responsible for them because they are so vital and so important to humanity. Then I'll be looking at Mrs. Berlin's deserving cases. So she doesn't want to take social responsibility and she's reflective of the older generation, the upper classes, lack of appetite to take social responsibility for the people around her. Now she believes her age and status allows her to have the privilege to decide who she should be responsible for and she chooses family and she chooses herself. She's worrying about her, so her own reputation and she's worried about looking after her family and keeping her children safe and naive and sheltered rather than looking after people like Eva. Now, this is such a daunting quote because this is where she's abusing this idea of social responsibility for her own personal gain. She's created a charade of herself that she can put herself in at the head of this charity, a prominent charity member, but she's doing it only to boost her own reputation. This is quite sinister, I feel, because she's using other people's struggles like Eva for her own personal gain. 
This also shows the hopelessness of the lower classes because the people who should be socially responsible for them lack any empathy for them, they judge them, they can't relate to them and therefore they're never ever going to help them. Now I'd also dovetail into this Mr Berlin and Mr Berlin says it's my duty to keep labour costs down. So Mr Berlin recognises he does have a social responsibility because he refers to his duty but his duty, his social responsibility is limited only to his class and those he should be socially responsible for, i.e. his workers, he sees them just as a cost to be managed. However, the inspector's got a very different point of view, and he says we'll have to share our guilt. So here the inspector has explained they are all mutually socially responsible, responsible, and they all need to take social responsibility because they're all part of the same society where people are suffering. He uses the pronoun we, for the inspector includes himself in his social responsibility, modelling the social responsibility he expects of the Berlins. And this mirrors, as I said at the outset, Priestley's extreme socialist views. He would argue that just being a part of this society where sufferance is allowed to grow makes us responsible, so it's relying on all of us to be the change that we wish to see. Now he also has this really interesting line here that she needed not only money, but advice, sympathy and friendliness. Now this is showing that according to Priestley, as voice through the inspector, he doesn't mean social responsibility is about just giving money and support like Eric tries to do at the end. But no, she needs empathy, she needs understanding, she needs love. And that's what true social responsibility looks like. Understanding, care and love. Finally, I'll be ending with the inspector's message, taught it in fire, blood and anguish. If we do not start taking this social responsibility seriously, we're all going to suffer and be punished, regardless of our age or class. Now this is a metaphor for war, which is dramatic irony. We know that the war happens, so therefore it's adding much more power to Priestley's message. Humanity did not take social responsibility last time, we need to start taking it this time. Now fire spreads, the noun fire spread and it hurts. The same way that if we do not take our social responsibilities seriously, it's going to spread through our society and it's going to hurt through all of us. And finally, this is not an option now. You will be taught it in fire, blood and anguish. So up till now, the Berlin's have insinuated that they're going to pick and choose who they're socially responsible for. The inspector says, nah, 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 you are all socially responsible for everyone. It is now going to be forced upon you, otherwise this world is going to suffer. And this is reflected by the phone ringing at the end. There's no escape. Inspector number two is coming round and you are going to accept your social responsibility for the world.